welcome back the odd couple themselves. They forgot us. They did not forget you. Got Let me you. tell you that. Half the audience can recite the opening. <laughs> Many a guest we have sit down who does on the night of anyway, uh, Oscar uh, Madison was asked to reveal several That space. saved our butt because it wasn't an original, you know. So okay. nothing but girls in the middle section. Yeah. <laughs> we put all the girls in the middle and then we fringe it with the guys on the side. The girls over there, girls over there. Yeah. Mm. How's your new baby girl? Oh, she's so lovely. How old is she now? She's six months. And how tired are you, Dad? Oh, well, she sleeps through the night now. It's she just, does. oh, it's lovely. It's the most wonderful thing of my entire life. Really? Yeah, everything, everything that's ever happened to me before doesn't compare to this. Yeah. Well, that's so sweet. You want to hear something cute? Sure. Uh, my wife took uh, the baby down to North Carolina to her sister's house to meet uh, her cousins. Mm -hmm. These two little boys, Nick and Zach, and Heather noticed that every time she changed the baby, yeah. these two little boys are watching. Yeah. Checking it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. And so finally she said to the little one, uh, Zach, haven't you ever seen a girl before? And he said, no. And she said, what's the difference? And he said, she doesn't have a wiener. <laughs> Observant little boy, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. I had the opposite experience. My son is the first boy in all of the next generation. So I have all nieces and my son. And I was changing his diaper and my nieces were totally amazed. But they were sort of afraid to look. You know, they were kind of like looking and then looking away, then sort of looking, then I don't want to look. And, you yeah. know, it was a scary thing for them. Yes. And it was a surprise. Who knew? <laughs> you know? I've never scared anybody. <laughs> What can you say about The Odd Couple? Do you have a favorite episode? Is that a silly question or not? No, no. No, my favorite was uh, Fear of Flying. I Mine think. is Password. I yes. love the Password one. Oh, That's yeah, that favorite. was hysterical. It was funny. When I, when, I, when I watch them now, I laugh mostly at him. I think they're really funny, and they're really not us. Yeah. They're just two guys. And Gary Marshall, of course, did such a great job, and he was just inducted into the Hall of Fame of television. That's right, as he should be. Very smart man. Right. Lovely man, too. Yeah. Now, um, Jack, do you watch Quincy when you see it on? If you're flipping through, you see if Quincy? I flip it, I see it, and I watch. I say, wow, he sounds pretty good compared to what I sound like now. Uh -huh. But I'm proud of that show. Yeah. We had legislation passed. Great show. Now, the two of you, I know your backgrounds in theater, both of you. In fact, Jack, we have a little thing of you. What? Listen to this, Jack Klugman. Rose, I love you, but don't count your chickens. Come dance with me. I warn you. That would be that you. I'm no boy scout. With Ethel Merman and oh, Gypsy on Broadway. What That's about how, that? First, I gotta say, a, a great reviewer said Jack Klugman had a voice like a loud snore. No <laughs> amiable. But uh, Gary Marshall cast me. I thought he saw me in The Odd Couple, mm -hmm. but he cast me in a television show. He saw me in Gypsy. He did. I said, well, why'd you cast me? He said, I saw Ethel Merman singing to you, spitting all over you, and you never showed it. I said, that's a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be able to take a little spit, you know? <laughs> Do you know that I frequently speak to your uh, wife's sister on the computer? How come? Because she's on the computer, and she IM'd me and said, my sister's married to Tony Randall, mm -hmm. and um, they're going to be in New York. She worships you. The sisters. Christy. Yeah. Yes. She's yeah. very nice. And We're like, I'm, I'm I have instructions to get uh, an autograph photo for her from you. No sweat. That I can do. Yeah. Yes. Now, you guys are going to do the Sunshine Boys. Yes. Yeah. And you're bringing it to Broadway. Yeah. yeah. How wonderful is that? <laughs> you're going to start out down in Florida? Yeah. We start out in Florida at the end of this month at the Coconut Grove Playhouse, and then about the end of November, we come to the Lyceum Theater, 45th and Broadway, 239-6200. <laughs>
<laughs> would that happen to be the National Actors Theater? Yes, my my baby. Yeah. That would be yeah. your theater. Yes, yeah. it would. Mm -hmm. And I've seen so many wonderful shows there. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, yes. it's a beautiful theater too. Well, we had a very good year last year. This year, we did uh, the Gin Game with. Uh, Charles Durning and Julie Harris, Which I and saw. still running. It's running in Chicago now. It's been a very successful show for us. Yeah, well, I cannot wait to see you. I hope you guys have a great time down in Coconut Grove. And when you come back, I will be there opening night. Oh, I hope so. Nothing would thrill me more. I love the show and it's to watch you two. That's a chance of a lifetime. Thank you. You're the heroine of the theater, you know. Is that so? Because of the Tonys, oh, yeah. everyone in the theater is grateful to you. Oh, well, that's so sweet. But honestly, it's a fair payback because it's the reason I'm a performer. I was lucky enough to grow up in the New York area, so I saw so many Broadway shows, mm -hmm. and it's the reason I wanted to be a performer. But it's so genuine, you're, and that's why you didn't do anything except your love for it is so genuine that it comes to us, and that's why we love you for well, it. Well, it's yeah. their night, the theater people. I, you know, I'm I just know. happy to be a part of it. And you guys, you did it for so long, so well. So it's lovely to have you here. Have a great run down in Florida, and I'll see you when you come to New York. Jack Klugman is